Breen could not find him. Duke. Yeah, defensively by Jason Carter coming out. He's a really smart basketball player, 25 and one. There's another triple. Jimmy Nichols. Ed Cooley told us, you know, those switching defenses we're going to have to be able to attack with David Duke out there. Yeah. That ball just has to keep moving, you know. Nichols alley opening for the slam to Watson. Boy, that was a perfectly lobbed pass for the Friars out of Melbourne Beach, Florida. Duke, boy, he is just feeling it. Forget that he's on the floor and they're trying to find their game. Already has four rebounds. That fall away is right in there. And, you know, if David Duke stays this warm, if you're Travis Steele, you're thinking, please, I don't want a close game on the Friars. He's just got such great size, Timmy. Obviously, Ed Cooley says he doesn't think he's had a player who's worked harder on his game. Being in the gym is, is like a, a religion to David Duke, and you can see it, but he's got... Nine to 21, largest lead of eight for the Musketeers. Reeves pans it. Yeah, that's that other scorer you were talking about. That ball was tipped. And Gant pulls it out of there. Reeves again. It's a thing of beauty. Great. Reeves surveying and gives it up to Duke. A little show and go that time, right in front of Juan Odo. He just said, I like this matchup. He's got a quick, you know, their defense is, is terrific. And, and if you're tentative, then you don't give your big an opportunity to go get an offensive rebound. There's a turnover by Wiltshire. That's the fifth overall. Duke Too easy. makes them pay. Too easy. And the Friars have now fought back to the lead. Third. I think he knew it, too. Scruggs trying to make good on defense. There you go. Watson uses the window. Gets it to go. Duke. Oh, they ran away from him. Oh, you can't do that. When the defender just runs away, he's going to drain it. That's not. Duke. Beautiful move by David Duke. He has that next gear. That made me think about them was when they won without him. That, that right. to me, tells yeah. you the true sign of a, of a very, very good team. Uh, nice move inside by Nichols. And, you know, having them back, if you hear the coaches say that, that means it's really good for the league. Yeah. <laughs> inside, nice move by the soft hands of Watson. He just went on the deck for the rerun donned. Xavier Musketeers, and up against the clock, Nichols drains it. And it could, well, that, that's a simple play he should make. Sometimes you, you think about the contact before the basket. There's Watson again. Griffin a little slow to get over defensively, and he took advantage of it. Watson. <laughs> there was help from Carter that time, and he just used his massive girth to get it up there. That was a Providence. That's a good read. That's a great read by David Duke. And just a, a beautiful little slide out of that post. And you don't want him to be in a game like this. Xavier is two out of their last ten. Counted and a foul. Kunkel has made a difference to, to play with one another. There's a trap. That surprised Providence and results in a turnover. The pass, though, hung in the air. Great save by Fremantle, or he was going to lose it. And he finishes it off. That ball hung in the air a long time there. In traffic, Gant needs some help. That's the right guy to find right there. Duke counted from downtown. Good players really know how to, to make big shots. I thought he should have caught it and shot it the first time. Kunkel again. Finding Scruggs from downtown, and he'll answer. And you saw why that was. That was a beautiful pass to Fremantle. Bounce pass variety in the post. Scruggs, both very special. That time Scruggs won defensively, and Carter gets it out to Kunkel. Great passing. Delivering the dime to Fremantle. Kunkel and the load. That is Nate Watson. Duke, count it. Rattling it home again. It won't be the last time you hear his name.
Watson is on that low block, but you got to know where Duke is out on the interior, on the exterior. And you use those long arms. You you, you got to get him up. Feed and fan the big fella. Great Kunkel off the heel, pulled down by Reeves, and he gets it into Duke's hands. Oh, Reeves will launch. There's that third scorer you were talking about at the outset. AJ with a payday. And it's 67 66 Providence. <laughs> In moderation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's Duke. Beautiful. Great flash. They found him right where they wanted. He's got 30. <laughs> Horkler for three. Your guy. Oh, boy. That's your guy. How about that? From Melbourne Beach, Florida with love. He can shoot it. You asked Eddie about that yep. last night. He said, tell me about Horkler. I like yep. this kid. That's it. I, I, I know why. Oh, yeah. Not bashful. <laughs> Got those blonde locks working, too. The road. <laughs> you make five of your last five shots, and that's exactly what Providence has done before that break. Outside, inside, outside. Really keeping Xavier off balance, but David Duke opening things up for all of his teammates and Horkler, three ball corner pocket. That out after transferring, and he's got versatility in his game. And that three ball is knocked down by Nate Johnson. Technically, Technically times so will be three before they can get there. There's a quick giveaway by Kuckle. And he forced the wall. He wanted the foul. Instead, Reed, the freshman, took the extra step. Wow. That's the 14th Providence turnover. I don't know about that. I didn't see it. I thought it was a foul. Yeah. <laughs> I he thought it was it. a foul. Yeah. I mean, didn't There's really the walk, but, that, but it was after contact. Fremantle from the top of the key. That's a big pass from a different angle. Tough angle, really. Nichols. He got aggressive. Did he step out of bounds? He did. The great Grugs we mentioned, he and Duke would be at the end. The guys that could make the difference. Kunkel again. Wrap around. Over to Scruggs on the wing. There's a ball fake. Out deep. Jones! Colby Jones with the tray! 